Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Les Plin, and I am an artist living in London. And in today's video, I would like to show you my process in painting a denim jacket. If you find it useful, please subscribe to my channel. This will help me to produce more videos like these and also will help you to develop your own art skills. So guys, I hope you enjoy that. <laughs> Usually I sketch an idea directly on the paper in my sketchbook. So at this stage I would just use uh, a pencil. This is because uh, I'd like to explore my mind and go with the flow without any other influences from the outside. Once uh, I have uh, finished my drawing, I will then use some reference to get a more accurate uh, picture of the idea I have in mind. Once the sketch is completed, I like to go on Procreate to make my lines way cleaner. Procreate is a great tool if you want to transfer your drawing uh, on another surface, for example, as in this case uh, with the denim jacket. This is because Procreate allows you to have very clean lines so that those are easier to transfer on other platform like uh, canvas, uh, wood, uh, skateboarding, decks, craft boxes, etc. As you can see, the final print of my sketch, the final dimension is A2. I printed my sketch as two A3 papers and then tape it together. My process was uh, going on Procreate and save one of my sketches as PDF. Once you open uh, the PDF printing option, you will go on the option poster and then tile it to 100%. This is the way how you will split your print in two parts so that they will be adaptable to a bigger platform, whether it will be bigger than an A4 or an A3 and whatever size your print will allow you. So guys, don't forget that to apply the drawing on your jacket, you will need the transfer paper. Magic! The reason why I give a first layer of white is because I would like my acrylics to be more vibrant and the first layer of white gives uh, colors this kind of characteristic. So for me, it's very important to do so. However, you know, is up to you. Just make sure, as I said before, you mix it with PVA so that when you wash it, it will stick to the fabric. I'm really addicted to colors and I think uh, all the people that knows my work knows that I just love colors. I mean, I think Maybe it's because of my roots. I come from a peninsula with a lot of colors and a lot of sun and a lot of smiling people and welcoming people. So I just love colors. I think, you know, think about a world without colors. I mean, how sad would that be? So I choose my color very carefully and I try to balance the tonality in a, in a very creative but also deep way for me. I use cold and warm color in the same vibrancy and I try to balance that kind of uh, uh, vibe. This is because I want my audience to feel when they look at my work, to feel inspired and to feel like sometimes I like to overwhelm people with my full color capacity. Oh my God. Do I overwhelm you? Am I overwhelming? I came back to the jacket. The inspiration behind this uh, painting comes from the idea I have of the future. In my work, I like to explore evolution, human mind, spirituality, and psychedelics. It's all uh, themes that uh, inspires me and definitely influences my work. This 
is my space where I got into a real meditative uh, mind space. And this is because when I paint, I kind of forget about anything else and I'm just there in the moment doing my own things, you know? Sometimes it's a good thing. Sometimes my sister would like to kill me because I never reply to messages when I am in this state. Well, um, maybe even when I'm not because sometimes I kind of forget that I have a brain or I kind of been in my less plain war that I forget everything else. I'm sorry, sister. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I love you. I truly love you. I use Posca to define the edges, as you can see in the video. I love Posca because they have such a nice and neat pigments uh, in uh, acrylic paint. So I just absolutely love it. And I would recommend to anyone to use Poscas. They are the best marker out there. I've tried Molotov, I've tried Liquitex and other brands, but I think Poscas are still the best in the market in terms of uh, acrylic uh, markers. So I would strongly recommend you to, to buy some of them. They're a little bit costly, but uh, I, I think it's worth it. <laughs> Oh my god, what was that face? Jesus. Uh, I look like a little pig. Um, okay, that, that like, no. Anyway, yeah guys, this is the first video I'm doing with my voice, my face and my process all synchronized or at least trying to be synchronized. I would like to produce more content for you to help you to learn new skills. I hope you enjoyed it and please share it with people who are curious to know how to paint on fabric. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. This will help me to produce more of these. I hope you will have an amazing day and I hope you will make another person's day amazing as well.